Hello, I'm Mako Samako and I'm here to share my thoughts why I want to run for MCP for the term 2011-2012. To be honest, I started my term torn between my professional life and my ICE career. I didn't really know what I wanted that time, so I decided to have a slice of both by working part-time as an ICER and also a 7-Eleven MT. I even had meetings in my store while I was mopping floors and taking orders just to make things work at the same time. I was struggling to get the best of both worlds, but I ended up having half-baked slices of each. I realized at that time that I have to make a choice. Then I decided to avail of an opportunity that is usually once in a lifetime for every Isaacer. I joined IC in India. I went there hoping to learn new strategies, but I ended up experiencing something else. The highlight of that experience is it reinforced why I'm still part of the organization, why I should keep on holding on. There, I learned to rekindle my youth idealism that is present at the very core of this organization. I started dreaming of things far beyond my scope. Something I didn't do anymore when I joined the workforce. But although people there were dreaming of things too ideal, they had the corporate professionalism to make those dreams possible because they have the experience to back it up. And I think this makes Isaac relevant for any nation, for any country. Youth idealism backed up by corporate professionalism. This allows us to set trends for the country, and that's actually the reason why I decided to stand for Isaac Philippines. Because I have a dream not only for Isaac, but more importantly for the Philippines. I envision a business process that will change how things are run for this country. And I want Isaacers to be part of this because I believe in you guys. I believe in the talents I develop. I want to see you guys develop your potential because more than NLDS, we're the best of each function, trained you in a 12-track agenda. More than AC, where representatives of each school work together to screen the next batch of ETs. It is you guys that are my greatest achievement. It is my capacity to develop and believe in people that allowed me to produce leaders like you. I guess my biggest contribution for this term is my business vision, which aims to have this organization head towards one direction. I'm the driving entrepreneur who's good with coming up with innovative ideas, big ideas, scouting for opportunities from one department to another. I'll go to NatCon not prepared for my speech, but rather with a plan that synergizes every department. And I think the greatest challenge for me, as all of you know, is communicating that plan. So watch out for it and see you in that con. Yes, that was good.